doing this. For this great work you are doing. Actually, you are supplementing our work as police, what we are supposed to do. Because our major role is to protect life and the property. Life first. So this is good work. But as police, I wanted to first react to uh, on what Madame has said. That uh, whenever the community come across these things which they don't understand, in most cases, actually I'm also a victim. I'm traumatized. When we had just passed out my first my first deployment, I was in a, in a place called Sironko. Sironko, then there is the lower part called the Bulamburi. There was a bomb blast. Children who got this thing, they didn't know it. They started playing with it. And seven of them died. So it was my first experience to, to go to that scene of seven children dying at a go. So whenever people come across such things, they should not play, they should not let them inform police. If the local police has not helped, you go to the district where there is a DPC. Because we have a fully fledged bomb squad. There is a bomb squad. We have people trained to handle that. Special people trained for that. With equipment to detonate any explosive. So if the local police have not heard, please go a little bit ahead. DPCs always have solutions. They always have numbers for the for the alert squad, for the bomb squad. They will always help. And we have always encouraged the community through our community policing, especially in these areas where where the bombs are rampant. We have always encouraged the community to always report. In the case they come across any anything which they which the, 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 they are suspicious of, not to play with anything they don't understand. Some of these things children pick them. Some go to say them as a scrap, and they don't know what they are saying. And even some scrap buyers buy them. They don't know. They think that they are buying the normal metal, yet uh, 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 it is something else. So, we as police, we still <laughs> pledge our cooperation with the NGOs, with anybody whose aim is to protect life and the property and to ensure the welfare of the public because we, we all serve the same purpose. Once again, Rod, I'm so, I'm, I'm so happy to see you because I've been hearing Rod, Rod, Rod. So I'm now with the Rod. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. And the, the organizers, thank you so much for calling Rod. Because this also touches him. When his people yes. suffer, he also suffers. I, I also when the people get problems, the, they run to him. Before somebody runs maybe to police, the, all of the area MP, the first person to run to must be the road. If not the road, then somebody must, must run to the church or to the, or to the mosque. So always uh, advise other people to always consider the, the leaders of the people. They are very, very instrumental in fighting for the welfare of their people. Thank you so much.